Hello, good afternoon. I'm Katie Kemper with SciFox Fabrics, and today we're going to have a fabric chat. So instead of our traditional reveal, uh, we decided to show some uh, summer, spring fabrics that we have here in the shop. And, <laughs> and, um, and uh, you know, hopefully if you are not quite familiar with all the fabrics, this will be a nice opportunity for you to learn more about some of them. So we're still going to do a giveaway though. We're going to send one lucky winner six yards of out of the fabric that we're showing, um, the spring summer fabric, six yards of our choice. So it'll be a complete surprise. Um, it could be one yard cuts, it could be two yard cuts, it could be a combination of the two. Uh, and we also have a slide by today. So Stick with us. Uh, we'll tell you what the slide by is when we get through all of our fabrics. And if you have a question, just uh, just ask it. Mary Beth's over there on the phone, and she's watching comments, and she's gonna um, just shout out at me whenever you guys have a question. So uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna show you some fabric types, and then I wanted to show you some um, some color combos that I thought were fun. Uh, mostly in the um, French Terry and Cotton Spandex solids. Uh, and I, I keep getting a question about cotton spandex. Will the white cotton spandex make a good t-shirt? I had a few, um, few emails asking me that question. So we're going to go full screen today. So this is the white cotton spandex and our cotton spandex is 10 ounce, so it's considered a bottom weight. It's a nice, uh, I wouldn't say it's like super thick or super heavy, but the question is, can I use the white cotton spandex for a t-shirt or is it going to be see-through? So you can see that when I hold it up just over my current shirt, you can sort of maybe see the mint underneath, but it's not, um, it's not really see-through. I think it obscures it pretty well. The general rule with fabric is um, also the tighter the garment, the tighter fitting the garment, the more likely you're going to have uh, show through or see-through. So if I'm going to wrap this really tight to myself, you can see how offensive that is. <laughs> Please don't do that. You can see how much it changes, you know, and I'm not even pulling on it. I'm just holding it tight so you can see my shirt underneath. But with a t-shirt, you're generally, it's going to lay like this. So my answer is go ahead and make a t-shirt, a white t-shirt out of this. Don't worry about there being see-through unless you've got it on skin tight. Um, and it, it's a nice heavier weight. I would say, did you make a t-shirt out of any of these yet? No. <clears throat> um, I have this Modal jersey on, which is a nice it's a nice weight. To me, it feels real similar in weight to the cotton spandex. But I don't know because the cotton spandex was given to us as, you know, the supplier provided it in ounces for the weight and the modal is provided in GSM for the weight. And I'm convinced that when you do the conversion online, that it's not correct. Just from holding fabric and seeing the different weights uh, from suppliers. I don't think that that conversion is um, very accurate. Okay, we'll put that over there. All right, so let's see, what should we talk about first? Let's talk about wovens first. So one of the wovens we have in the shop is called Bubble Crepe. We have a few prints of Bubble Crepe. And this one is, uh, you'll see it a lot in boutiques in ready to wear clothing. It's super flowy. It's beautiful for tops. You can make dresses out of it. Um, I think Ilsa made a top and a pair of pants out Did of she? it. Yeah. And it has, um, it has a little bit of a texture, almost like similar to Liverpool, if you're familiar with Liverpool. Um, but it's super flowy. It's really, it's just really beautiful. It hangs really nice. It's a great summer fabric because it's so light. And it's another one people are going to say, is it see-through? You can see as I drape it on my shoulders, it's, it's not see-through. 
So that's bubble crepe, and that's a woven, and wovens do not have any stretch. Most wovens don't, unless they have, I don't know. Unless they're not woven. Spandex in them, <laughs> unless they're not woven. Um, what's this called again? Chiffon. <laughs> Chiffon. <laughs> Just had a complete brain fart. This is chiffon. It's also a woven. Um, I forgot to mention the bubble crepe is polyester. And uh, this chiffon is polyester, but it can be made, <clears throat> excuse me, chiffon can be made out of silk, um, can be made out of, I believe, rayon. Isn't there rayon chiffons? I don't know. I know there are silk chiffons, and they're gorgeous. This is a polyester chiffon. And usually chiffon is, uh, you can see through it because it's a lighter fabric, but this one has such a busy dark print on it that you actually cannot see through it. Um, also, this is great for blouses, kimonos, the um, bubble crepe, all the wovens would make a cute kimono, um, or like a robe type cover up. Uh, what else? 90s, like lingerie type stuff? Sure. Lingerie type stuff. It's a woven, no stretch, so it is a woven. Um, skirts, I think we had someone make a really cute gathered skirt out of this on the group page last year, last season, spring, summer season. It was beautiful. Do you remember that one? She had a cute denim jacket on with it, and her, there was a picture of her holding a big bag Oh. With the skirt <laughs> and the denim familiar. jacket. It was, I'm pretty sure it was this fabric. Super adorable. And I believe that the skirt was very gathered. So, you know, it just looked like that all the way around. Really cute. Um, what else can I say about chiffon? <laughs> put me on the spot. I don't know. Mary Beth doesn't like to be on the spot. Okay, uh, Rayon Shally. Somebody wants to know if Modal can be used for baby clothing. Is it breathable? Is Modal breathable enough for baby clothing? I think Modal is breathable. Um, I don't, I'm not really sure what the... If you put them in Rayon spandex, you put them in Modal. Yeah, Mo Modal is, is just another form of Rayon spandex. Um, <clears throat> it's breathable. I think... Maybe she's worried about, uh, like they say, not to put fresh poly on infants because they can't regulate their yeah. temperature. If you have a tight-fitting garment on an infant that's not a breathable fabric, that can be a problem. I, Modal, I think it's breathable. I have looked into this, um, into the breathability of Modal, because, and I found people saying it's not breathable at all because it is synthetic because it's rayon. And then other people saying it's totally breathable because it's made out of rayon, which is a or it's rayon made from tree pulp, which is a natural fiber. So <laughs> I guess it depends on who you ask. I'm wearing it right now, and I feel like it's very breathable. So that's the best answer I can give. This is rayon chalet. When you first get rayon chalet, and it's 100% rayon, it's a woven. When you first get it, it's nice and stiff, and then when you wash it, it gets heavenly soft. Um, and this is a border print. We have a couple really cute border prints. And let's see, great for um, tops, skirts. Uh, you could use it for bottoms, mm -hmm. like um, palazzo type pants or, or cute little shorts. Cute even. little shorts. Oh yeah, it's and it's really flowy. Um, more so after it's washed. I should have wore my, I think I wore my Rayon Chally shirt on the last reveal. Yeah. I have one Rayon Chally shirt. <clears throat> I love it. Sarah found that post and, and put it in the oh, comments. okay. With the girl in the chiffon oh, skirt. Oh, okay. Sarah Maddox posted in the comments <laughs> with the girl with the chiffon shirt that I was talking about. She's got an amazing memory. Um, so Rayon Chally. If you shop at Target... In the summertime, they, they're they full of um, dresses and uh, jumpers and all kinds of cute little uh, pretty stuff made out of rayon chalet. So I don't know if that 
Somebody wants to see it's that border that. closer, so turn it sideways. Okay. Let me, Let me show you how big that border is. A better picture. Now, this fabric is on the website with better pictures of the border and stuff like that. It's little small flowers, and it is, if you want to know how wide the border is, I can tell you. It's about nine inches from the selvage, from here to here. And then, let's see what the total border is, because there's another line after that. Okay, and then from here to here, is 14 and a half inches. And then it repeats itself on the other side. I think we also have this in a burgundy, burgundy. background. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. Take my stuff. Take all my slippery fabrics. Um, I forgot to open that for you to give you a little shelf next to you, but that uh, stool. Okay, this is also a Rayon Chali, but I just, it's one of my favorites, so I had to show you guys. It's a really pretty print. Um, we have some florals and we have some uh, more boho interesting, ones. yeah, boho type prints. And this is one that's soft before it even gets in the wash. Um, so maybe it's a little bit lighter than the other one, but again, 100% rayon. Um, and rayon is a very soft fabric. Whether it's a knit or a woven, ray rayon is traditionally very soft. I tell them, too, that we cut all our wovens with a pinking blade so yeah, that they can that's a wash good point. it without it This it one out. isn't because I it's an older cut that I pulled off the shelf, but we cut all of our wovens with a pinking um, blade so that when you wash it, it doesn't fray. You don't have to worry about uh, surging around the edges. You can just go ahead and pop it right in the washer. It's just the kind of girls that we are over here at Sly Fox. <laughs> Always think it. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to show you. Um, are we, do we still have all three of these colors in stock? Yes. Or four? Yes. <laughs> I can count. Uh, we also have this sandwashed round chalet. And it has, uh, it's sandwashed, so it has this... Um, I don't know, how would you describe the look of this? Uh, kind of a worn look. Yeah. It's super soft. We I saw, we were at Disney World last week, and I saw a woman wearing a pair of pants. And I'm 110% positive it was out of the toasted almond rayon chalet. And they were gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we have this in four colors. That's the peach with the string on it. And then in gray. <clears throat> there you go. Okay. Like a heathered look. That's, yeah, that's like what a heathered you were look. To yeah. Say. Thanks, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. <coughs> All right. Um, I think the last woven that we offer in the shop is crepon. I think I got all of the categories. And we have, uh, we have a couple of prints in Crepon, but I just grabbed the solids to show you. Uh, it's 100%, I'm pretty sure it's rayon. 100% rayon, and I'm trying to find the right side to show you. It can be hard to tell sometimes uh, if I didn't say it yet already. It is woven, and it has a little bit of a crinkly texture to it. that runs parallel to the selvage. We have this in, well, I think we have four solids. And if you're following the Itch to Stitch blog tour, uh, I think the first, um, would have been Monday, I think, the first uh, submission of the blog was um, a jumper out of the navy rayon crepon. And it's gorgeous. This color is beautiful. But navy is one of my favorite colors, so. So it's super light. Uh, so we have it in the pink, black, and navy. And beige. And beige. I don't, I must not have a 
piece of the beige over here for some reason. The beige is called bisque. It's a really pretty color. They want to know if you iron it, is it going to take your crinkles out? So if you iron it, will it take your crinkles out? It should not. The crinkles are inherent in the actual yarn. Um, so you should not take the crinkles out. As a matter of fact, before we photographed this and we ironed it, Holly ironed them all with steam, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure, um, so that we could get nice pictures. But of course, you know, you fold them back up and you get wrinkles again, but you should be able to, to iron it. And somebody wants to know if it's clingy. I don't know. Is it clingy? No. It is. No. Uh -uh. <clears throat> It's so as a woven, it's real drapey. It doesn't none of the wovens are clingy. I guess unless except maybe chiffon. Well, chiffon because it, it gets staticky. It does get staticky, which makes me think that I think it's poly. I think that chiffon's polyester. Mm. Okay, let's move on to knits now. So we're done with all of our wovens. Um, this is one of our favorite knits for the summer season, and you can do a lot with this. It's mesh. It's, uh, I think we call it power mesh because the suppliers all call it power mesh, but there's a difference between power mesh and muscle mesh. Anyways, this has stretch. It's not going to really um, hold anything, if that's what you're looking for, <laughs> but... Uh, it's a great um, fabric for making um, negligees and nighties or adding it to uh, bras or panties, or you could even use it uh, as a swimsuit cover-up, or um, you can use it for various parts of, of your, your garment. Like you could use it for, uh, if you're going to, you wanted to make um, a flirty, little top like a boho baby dollish type top you could use this for the top and line it um, yeah you did that that boho baby doll. yeah yeah i almost wore that boho baby doll top today did you? i did um but i was more in the mood for t-shirt uh so you could even use it for the sleeves on a raglan <clears throat> or you can make a skirt out of it you can make a skirt yeah. out of it and the really cool thing <clears throat> excuse me, about these meshes is they take on the color of what's underneath them. So like you see how it, it really changes. So this is black mm -hmm. and the roses are um, a mauvey pink color, uh, but you can put different stuff under them to get different effects. So that's, that's ivory. So I can get under the rose. Anyways, there's just a lot of fun stuff that you can do with the meshes. We have a polka dot mesh that's a it's flocked polka dot, and I use that um, in a dress. I put the the black mesh with the polka dots over top of green, and it was just beautiful. Okay. And you don't really have to hem this. Oh yeah, you don't have to hem that. Mm -mm. You can just leave a raw edge. In fact, I did leave a raw edge on my dress with both the brush poly and the, the mesh. It was cute. Uh, okay, so next, this one is, this is Polly Rand Spandex uh, jersey. And people often ask, what is it? And how's it different from spun poly? So I thought this was a great opportunity to show you both of them. So poly ran spandex is um, mostly poly with some ran and some spandex. And uh, it's a jersey fabric, so it's usually got kind of, you know, that it's, it's got the jersey feel. It has great stretch and recovery. Um, the polyester gives it that great recovery, and the rayon makes it soft. Rayon is, whenever you add a rayon, it just adds tons of softness to your uh, to your fabric. So this is Polly Rayon Spandex. It has a great drape. Wonderful for tops, skirts, dresses. It's really light. Uh, I would say it's pretty breathable even though polyester is the main um, component of the fabric. So this is the Polly Rayon Spandex and then a very very similar fabric is Spun 
Polly. Spun Polly is a jersey and it's super soft just like the Polly Rand spandex but it doesn't have any rayon in it. Um, the reason it's soft from what I believe is that the yarn is spun a certain way why it's, why it's called spun poly it has something to do with the yarn that's used to make um, it's the way the yarn is made that makes it so soft and it you can use it for the same exact stuff that you use the poly rand spandex for you can see they look very similar somebody wants to know what color those flowers are <clears throat> they're really a fady red I'm trying to know if they were pink or Oh, the the flowers are pink. This is a like a charcoal background with uh, red flowers and red and yellow flowers. Yeah, they're not pink and they're not coral. They're definitely a fady red. Yeah, they're definitely red. Does either of them pill? Does either of them pill? Well, with knits, you're going to get pilling when you have areas of rubbing. So, um, some. Some fabrics are more likely to pill. I was told by a supplier when we were just in California in January, and I'd never heard this even though I've done a lot of research and stuff, but a new supplier told me that pilling has to do with the yarn, has everything to do with the yarn um, and the way the yarn is made. Because I had read that it was... Um, the rayon content? That it was... Uh, not the rayon content specifically, but because knits are the way that the yarn is knitted, that it has a tendency to be looser, mm -hmm. and that's why it uh, then compared to woven, and that that's why it uh, pilled, because you it's it's looser and you're got some areas like you might get pilling under your armpits or you know other areas where you have high rub. But he said, no, 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 it has way more to do with the quality of the yarn used. Um, so my answer to you is it could pill. Any of the knits could pill. I mean, did you, you made some tops out of the PRS, didn't you? I made one, but I didn't like it, so I threw it away. <laughs> so I don't know if it pulled or not. Mary Beth has a habit of making clothes and giving them away. She made five different t-shirts, five different t-shirts a week ago and gave four of them to me. <laughs> they didn't fit. This is one of them. They didn't fit. I, that is such a disappointment when you make something and you're so excited about it and then it doesn't fit even though you measured yourself and then you, you did everything right. It happens. Excuse me. Delivery. Oh, the delivery's here. Yay, fabric delivery. They always come and tearing our reveals. <laughs> um, I'll just put her phone in front of me so I can read the comments as they come through. All right, the next one is rayon spandex jersey. And we did get in a few solids recently. Um, these are great basics for summer. Uh, black rayon spandex solid, uh, gray and ivory and uh, people have been asking too about this one is this good for a t-shirt is it see-through and so this one these are 200 gsm these solids i'm showing you this one yes you can see through it um you see the difference between when i drape this across my chest and when i drape the cotton spandex. Let's get that back out. So there's cotton spandex in white and here is the round spandex in ivory. So it is more see-through. One of the t-shirts that Mary Beth made, I think it was a, a J. Lee pattern, I can't remember the name of it, but it had a lining on the very top of it. It was a dolman style t-shirt and it was a v-neck and then it had a lining that went about to your belly button so uh, that t-shirt you can't see through the lining and above because it's doubled up and it's really cute um, but where it's single you can kind of see through so you might be able to see your bra underneath it um, so rayon spandex is rayon 
typically is 95% rayon, 5% spandex, and it's very um, light. These are very light. Here's one of our prints. It's a very light feeling fabric, and um, it has a great stretch. It's a great horizontal stretch, great vertical stretch. It's wonderful for tops, for dresses. I have several dresses in Rand Spandex for the summertime it, because it's just, it's so cool and it drapes so beautifully and flows so nicely. Um, but a couple of things that you have to keep in mind with Rand Spandex, it does like to curl. So it can, some people get really frustrated sewing with it. What I like to do um, anytime I have something curling really bad is I just iron iron it until <laughs> I get it to lay as straight as I possibly can. Um, and I'm sure that some other people have some great tips for that. Uh, the, it also has a tendency to grow. So it does not have the recovery of the spun poly or the poly ran uh, spandex jersey. Um, so as you wear it, it kind of, you know, gets a little bit, a little bit longer. So I have these uh, tank dresses, and um, when I first put them on, they're great, and they go all the way down to my ankles. But then as the day goes by, the armpits get lower and lower, so where you can see uh, your bra kind of peeking through. So a lot of people like to size down a size when making uh, something that might um, sag during, during the day as you wear it. So that's uh, rayon spandex. Oh, Sarah says she hangs it overnight before hemming instead of sizing down. That's a really smart idea so that it, you know, does the stretch. Um, and then here's just another print I wanted to show you guys. This is one of my favorites. I think it would be really cute in a dress. I don't know. It's probably not my colors, but I just really love it. It's different. I like the different kind of thing. I can't find the book. Oh, I have it. I forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, you have it here? No wonder I couldn't find it. Yeah, I wanted to write down the restock so I could tell them. Can I take this whole thing? Yep. Okay. It's all yours. Thank you. Um, so another great thing that Rayon Spandex is wonderful for is maxi skirts and gathering it up and stuff. Um, you could do a gathered skirt with it. So with light fabrics like this, uh, if it's not gathered and you try and do something um, kind of more fitting, it, you're going to be able to see through it. Especially when the light shows through, you'll see the you'll see your the light will just go right through it. So um, you got to keep that in mind. So if you're going to make something long with it, you're going to want to gather it. Okay. So there's that one and those. I'll keep my own. Okay, so all right. So that's all. Oh no, no. I want to show you talk about the modal because I know there might be some people on who have not um, seen the modal or the tri-blend. And we have a lot of tri-blend solids in stock right now. Um, I'm gonna try and get some more prints in. Tri-blend is a great fabric for summer. Let me just grab a couple colors here. This might be a little wrinkled, so please excuse the wrinkles. Tri-blend uh, jersey is a blend of cotton, rayon, and I believe polyester, and spandex. There's a little bit of spandex in it. And I'm going to show you the white, just as another example of, you know, is it see-through? So you, you can see through the white a little bit. But the, and I'm going to show you another color of this too. You can see that there's kind of like, um, I think that's the cotton maybe. There's varying degrees of color. Let me get a color. What would be a good color to demonstrate this? This is Tabasco. Isn't that pretty? 
So when you wash it, it gets even softer. I mean, it, it's really soft, but then it gets even softer when you wash it. This is great for t-shirts. Um, what else? Any kind of top. I've not seen anybody make a dress out of this. And I think it would cling to itself. You could probably make a nighty out of it. A nighty would be good, but I don't know about a dress. I don't think it's quite appropriate for a dress, and it's not appropriate for leggings. It doesn't have the vertical stretch. Okay. Let's see if we have any questions. The tri blend does not wrinkle easily. Um, you can see that this one was wrapped up. It's a little wrinkly, but I wouldn't say crazy wrinkly. These were, uh, they've been wrapped on my shelf for months. Now the Modal, it can, it can wrinkle. If you, what I like to do with my Modal is I wash it in the washing machine. I dry it in the dryer and I pull it right out of the dryer and hang it up. And I, I do not like to iron clothes. Um, so I'll do everything I possibly can to not have to iron them. And I, I never have to iron my Modal. Um, unless I left it in the dryer too long. So I think if you dry it completely and pull it out, uh, you're not going to have a problem with it. So this is the Ivory Modal. And this Modal is 250 GSM. This is another great option for a t-shirt. Modal is the same thing as rayon, but it's made from, I think it's birch, birch or beech trees. Uh, it's really silky and smooth. It feels cool on your skin and you can use it for tops, skirts, dresses, um, palazzo pants. I just made a pair of Portlanders out of black and another pair of Portlanders out of the charcoal gray. Um, and I wore them, they were like full Portlanders, not like a three quarter or anything. I wore them in Florida recently when we went for, um, Sarah says it's beach trees. When we went down for spring break and I was super comfortable, felt like I was wearing pajamas and they were really cute. So we have restocks coming in a couple of colors for the Modal and I wrote it down. So we have Mauve Latte coming back. That's the shipment that just arrived today. This is the Mauve Latte. It's a little wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the Royal Navy, it's gorgeous color navy, and I feel like these uh, jewel tones are really hot right now. The ivory, and color that's not for everybody, but I think it's a really fun color, chartreuse. So those are restocking today. Well, they're coming in today, as long as the shipment came in correctly. Uh, they'll be restocked probably by tomorrow. Okay, so that's the Modal and the Tri-Blend. And what else do we want to talk about? Let me know if there's a color you want to see. I'm going to try and... Are you back? I'm back. Okay, Mary Beth is back to watch the questions. So if, you, if there's any colors you guys want to see in the tri or Modal, put it in the comments. Mary Beth will shout at me. But I'm going to show you some fun combos um, in the French Terry and the uh, Cotton Spandex. Um, it looks very bright. <laughs> but as we these, these came in together on the pre-order, and it was really fun to kind of make little mix and, mix and match stuff. This is the yellow. This is the heathered yellow. These are both French terry. And then this is the citrus um, cotton spandex. Aren't those pretty together? Also, this is the heather pink. And this, this is heather pink French terry. And this is the hot pink. It's hot, called hot magenta, pink. Magenta. It's I magenta. Think. Is that cotton spandex? Yeah, cotton right spandex. There, let me tell you what color it is. Aren't those cute together? Now, a little, maybe... Fuchsia. Fuchsia. <laughs> oh, we're both wrong. It's fuchsia. It's a fuchsia cotton spandex. 
call me crazy, but I love these colors with brown. I, I think they're too. really cute. So um, brown cotton spandex. I think of leggings or shorts in the cotton spandex with maybe a little um, top and an open little jacket hoodie. How cute is that? Cute. Put a little vinyl on the shirt. Something cute. Um, also, wanted to show you guys that this is the tan cotton spandex. This is the khaki cotton spandex. And this is the milk, milk chocolate, milk chocolate, milk, cho milk chocolate cotton spandex. So that's the three of those together. Mary Beth just threw a phone across the room. <laughs> and I love just I love putting those together with the bright colors. I think it's just too pretty. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, somebody wanted to know if you could make a romper out of the tri blend. I would say yeah. A romper out of the tri blend? Yeah. Yeah, that would be really comfortable. You would feel naked. <laughs> you would feel naked. Um, this is the light blue, and this is, I think this is Heather blue or Heather. Or Heather light? Dusty blue, I Heather think. Heather Dusty blue, thank you. Aren't those pretty together? And I threw my, where's my white? Oh, can I have that? Or is it Heather Royal blue? No, it's Heather Dusty. It's the new one. The okay. Heather Royal came in in the fall. I throw that with white. Ooh, doesn't that look like something you just want to put a baby in? Yep. <laughs> What else do we have? Oh, I like this too. I like some weird combinations. She does. This is like watermelon. This is the jade and um, the salmon uh, French terry. And what's really bizarre, oh, this is the, the jade French terry. That with looks the, really good with Yeah, it. the mint modal. They match really nice. Oh, look at the three of them together. Uh-huh. Very cute. Looks like sherbet. Sure, but I thought it looked a little bit like watermelon. Okay. Just reminds me of summertime. This is the hot orange with the heather orange. Those are cute That's together. Really cute. You can throw in uh, white or ivory with that, and you have a dream sickle. What about that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna show that too. too. Yeah. This is peach French cherry. Now, here's the thing. To me, right here, these. You could put these together, but on the camera, it's picking up different stuff in the colors. Oh, yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It's making the one look pink, and yeah. it isn't. But, love these together. That's peach and hot orange French terry. And here's white with it. Yeah, it looks good. It looks so fresh and summery mm -hmm. to me. And you can just see the kids spilling chocolate ice cream all over it. <laughs> yeah. A couple other things I thought were really pretty together. This is the, um, did we call this dark mocha French terry? So many names. I can't remember all of them. It looks almost like cappuccino. Um, is it? Oh, milk chocolate. Mil no, no, I'm sorry. That's the one you forget. Hold on. Dark mocha. Dark mocha. Okay, this is the dark mocha French terry. And this is the heathered old rose French terry. Ooh, that's pretty. And they're just really pretty together. And then, so this is, this is the blush, heathered blush French terry. That is really pretty together. And it's just pretty really together. pretty together. Because it almost looks see, lavender. Yeah, it has a more of a purple tint. Here, I'll show the two together. So here's Heathered Old Rose and here's Blush. So you can tell they're very different looking. But I, I had a hard time when I just taken the picture of the tiny little swatch. We were doing the pre-order on those and getting them to look like they were supposed to. In case you're curious, this is the Dark Mocha French Terry and this is the Milk Chocolate cotton spandex. Those look good together. Yeah, they, co they coordinate well together. And then here's the tan cotton spandex. And here... Do you want me to just throw them in the empty holes? Or? Yes. Here is the khaki cotton spandex. I've seen them lined up on the wall, so, so I'm sure. So you can see how those go together. In case you were wondering, what else do we have? 
I love these together. This is the salmon cotton spandex, and this is the green apple. Isn't that cute? This seems like adorable. Oh, that is really cute. Well, the salmon, though, doesn't go with, it does not go with these. Just so you know, that's the fuchsia cotton spandex in the pink. It's definitely salmon. This is the purple cotton spandex. Did we call this eggplant? I mm -hmm. think we did. And then this is the magenta. Fuchsia. Magenta. Fuchsia. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. We decided to call start calling all the colors in the different fabric bases by different names so that we could cut down on uh, My making, mistakes. <laughs> making mistakes when we send them out. Um, so but remembering all those colors is all those names. This is Malibu blue and fuchsia. Reminds me of Barbie. It reminds me of when you were little. I probably dressed in colors like that. I was never little. <laughs> this is, what's this one? Uh, uh, aquamarine. Aquamarine cotton spandex, which another weird combo. I really like it with the khaki. Oh yeah, and I also love it with the yellow. Check it out. Oh yeah, that was Eastery. Mm -hmm. It's really pretty. So I hoarded a bunch of the cotton spandex to make little zip up hoodies with. Light ones. This is the Heather Red. The Heather Red. Looks nice with a lot of stuff. Aqua, that's aquamarine, green, okay, I think that's all I had, I just went through my whole stack here. See, this girl said Malibu and Fuchsia remind me of cotton candy. Yeah, they do. yeah, just so summery, just bright and cheery and summery. Okay, anything else you can think Try of? Try the aquamarine with the milk chocolate. The aquamarine. The milk chocolate. Now the milk chocolate is cotton the spandex. cotton spandex. Oh yeah, I yeah. love those colors together. Too. Aquamarine and milk chocolate cotton spandex. And she says my colors are weird. <laughs> I like them though. They go nice. Anything else? What's the weight of the cotton spandex? The cotton spandex is ten ounce. It's a nice. It's a nice weight. You could use it for leggings. It's that kind of weight. Do the cotton spandexes have good recovery? Cotton spandex has good recovery. Let's show you. Let me show you with the white again. Well, the white's probably a bad one because it makes the camera go crazy. And good stretch. The stretches are all on there. The stretches are all on the um, website for each one. I don't remember what they are. Um, but I think it has decent recovery. Oh yeah, that's got good recovery. French terry weight. French terry is 210 GSM. I don't have my sheet anymore. The weights are on the website. They're given they were given to us in GSM. I'm pretty sure they're 210. And are we gonna get black tri blend? Black tri blend. Did we have black tri blend before? Do you remember? It was like charcoal y. I think yeah. they called it black. It was real dark. Yeah, I think it was called black. I think we had black and charcoal. We're going to, um, yeah, we'll probably get that in the black tri blend. Because I think, was this it? Yes. This is the black tri blend. Is there also a charcoal? I don't think so. I think I think that that's the darkest yeah, we had. This is the darkest. And by the way, um, it seems like I when you agree with this, when you go see the suppliers, there are only so many colors of tri blend available. Yeah. Everyone seems to have the same colors, 
from the people that we buy from. But somebody I think I had noticed had said on the website or the group page earlier to get that they wanted um, some richer, darker colors in the tri blend, and I haven't seen a whole lot of that available. Oh, Sarah said we had black polyrayon spandex and charcoal tri blend. That's okay. A, so that was the charcoal. Um, somebody wants to know if that cotton spandex is heavy enough for a men's t shirt. Oh, yeah, the cotton spandex is definitely heavy enough for a men's t shirt. I would make t shirts for my husband out of it, but he doesn't want anything with spandex. So he wants only 100% cotton. So there. <laughs> so he doesn't get one. <laughs> um, I thought of something else I was going to say, but it escaped me. Um, okay. Do you guys want to see the slide by? Yeah. I'll show you the slide by. We don't even have a picture for it. There it is. She, Savannah says, I'm not even telling mine that it has spandex in it. She ain't telling her. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. <laughs> um, okay. We have two, two today. Uh, we have Double Brush Polly, Mad About You. Isn't that pretty? And I'll show you some coordinates that we have for it. So it has an ivory background, so it matches ivory. And by the way, if you want to know if it's see-through, I don't think it is. You can't really see my shirt through it, I would say no. Just, but if you're going to pull it tight, it might be a little see-through. Um, coral, red, coral and red, <laughs> and black. There, There's some black outlining around the flowers, so you could throw black with it if you Is wanted cappuccino to. cappuccino backstroke? Cappuccino. Cappuccino brush poly? Yeah. It looks like the color in the leaves to me. This is cappuccino, right? Mm -hmm. See those leaves? So what this is cappuccino brush poly. <laughs> you decide if you like it. it. It's like not an exact match, but boy is it really close. Because right in here. Yeah, right where it blends together. Yeah. Can you hear my stomach growling? <laughs> Good. I was afraid it was coming up on the thing. Um, the stretch percentages are online. If you're not familiar with the slide by, the way it works is we take fabric and discount it quite deeply. And um, uh, it's $5 a yard. It, you're limited to four yards per customer, though, so that more people have a chance to take advantage of the great prices. If you order more than four yards, we will refund you for your overage, and you will get four yards. Somebody wanted to know if mauve matches that, but I don't believe so. Uh, mauve does match it, but I took it out because it's out of stock. Oh. But yes, mauve matches it. Okay. So if they have So mauve. that's a good eye. So if you have mauve, you, it, it does match. Um, and then the other one is this ITY. Now they want to know what that is. What is an ITY? It's interlock twist yarn. It's polyester spandex. Basically, it's double brush poly before it's brushed. So it's a real smooth, slinky um, jersey. And it's got stretch. So there's your horizontal or your vertical. <laughs> your horizontal. Um, so you can use this for anything you use uh, double and a jersey for tops, dresses, skirts. Uh, you will be able to see through it, so you wouldn't want to make like a tight skirt, but you can make a gathered skirt. So when the light shines, you'd be able to see your legs and stuff through it. Um, but it's real like th this ity is slinky, soft, silky feeling. And then one, can you make a t-shirt with that? Sure. Yeah, you can make a t-shirt with this. Keep in mind it is polyester, polyester spandex. So if you if you don't like t-shirts out of polyester, you might not like this. But yeah, you could. It has great drapes, so it would be a really cute, like, you know, flowy top, too. This is magenta brush poly, which is really pretty with it. And then this is orchid brush poly, Ooh, which is great also too. really pretty with it. Mm -hmm. So those really set it off. So it's $5 a yard. 
And it's one of our sly buys. And it's really cute with jeans. I have jeans on today. So somebody wants to know if all of those solids are for sale. Yes, everything we show today is already on the site. So everything is available to order. Um, yeah, all those, all the fresh poly, I'm sorry, baby French terry and cotton spandex, those were all from our um, spring uh, pre-sale, pre-order. So those are all on the site. Um, and we have way more colors than that too. So a ton of uh, solids for brush poly, um, baby French terry, and um, modal, tri-blend. Um, we have those three new solids for the round spandex. Now somebody suggested changing up the direction of the print with the stripes, but it's um, bear in mind this the stretch is going to be going the long way. Oh yeah, if you so these these stripes are horizontal. If you want to go vertical with them, you could experience some issues with your pattern because the stretch it does not really have very much vertical stretch. Maybe 10-15%. So you'd have to make sure that that's going to go okay with your um your pattern. So double check on your pattern. We do have some we still have some vertical stripes in brush poly, don't mm -hmm. we? We have some vertical stripes in brush poly, so check that out. I don't out. know if it's difficult to sew with. No, it's not. It's no, just it's like not. Else. Yeah, it's not difficult to sew with. It, it doesn't curl or anything like that, like I was telling them the round spandex. Um, I always, you know, that in the modal, I just iron it. Yeah. Really, really good, and that helps. And I've, I've heard, I've seen other tips from people with the stuff that curls. So some people um, surge their edges on curly stuff, to, which they say works well. Anything else? Any more questions? Nope. Yep. Just how to place an order, but um, this is this one girl's first time. Oh. She wanted to know how do they claim items. Um, go to oh, so go to slyfoxfabrics.com, S-L-Y-F-O-X fabrics.com, and um, that's where you can shop. I mean, it's just a traditional site. You click your items, put them in your cart, and check out, and there's various ways to pay. To find the slide buys um, on the, the ribbon on the home page or, you know, the, the, the header, um, slide buy is all the way on the left. If you're on desktop or if you're on mobile, it's the very first choice when you drop down your menu. That's where these sale items will be, along with a couple of other slide buys that are already in there. Um, and I'll have those live within a couple, within a minute or so of turning off this video. So if you have any, if anyone has any questions about ordering or anything they saw, um, you can email us at slyfoxfabrics at gmail.com. You can um, private message me or uh, you can always ask on the page. But if it's a question about your order, we ask that you email us. I think we're good. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. <clears throat> and uh, we'll see you next week. So have a great week.